what's up cancer i'm about to do y'all bonus i'm gonna call it a bonus but i'm gonna do the love reading i was supposed to do for y'all on the weekend but i ain't have time and then i'm gonna do a spirit message at the end so that's gonna be the bonus part i guess i just wanted to do it because i don't like feeling like stuff is incomplete i did um eight times for the weekend so i'm gonna see how the person or your mind sees you and feels towards you and how they have been showing up in your life in the past present and then look into the near future for whoever it's for you could have been born under the sign of cancer or have cancer in your chart so i get seven cards for cancer in their person So you're seeing them as the hermit so they could be a virgo but i really think whether they're a virgo or not like you're seeing them as closed off not opening up to you separated from you most likely no communication or not in-depth communication you feel the king of earth like you feel tied to them in a way that's not easy to shake it's a whole lot of brown i feel like this could be a person who you had a relationship with if not it could have been like talks of building together i mean like moving in together or having a family with them but either way under the hermit the chariot came out that's um the cancer major arcana also got the sun which is leo so that could be the signs of people involved in this situation or not. It just could be an energy. But either way, you're waiting for them. That's your issue is that you have to wait for them to be ready or to make a move or something. Or your issue could be related to investing or not investing or somebody not being committed. Why do I had to do that mad shit when I start doing my reading, but it's not all about me. Okay. Um, <laughs> if that matches you in any way, I feel like they're seeing you as the chariot. So they see you as focused on your goals, like somebody who's going to keep it moving regardless. Somebody who's never going to stop pushing forward towards the things that make you feel successful. And somebody who's always going to find a way to get what it is that they need and what it is that they want. Why is the chariot here? That's a lot that came out. You got the Five of Pentacles, the Ace of Earth, the Four of Swords. So, I feel like you could have offered something to this person in the past. But I don't feel like you are now. If you have or you are, like recently, I feel like it could have been rejected or either you rejected an offer from them. Either way, it's like you're chilling on them. You're chilling on offering them any type of emotion right now so for them that makes them want to offer you <laughs> emotion now that you're not trying to invest with them like what why is the ace of water here i feel like they don't want you to give your cups to anybody else yeah with the five of swords see these extra people here i feel like now they want to offer love to you because they don't want to see you with somebody else with the five of swords coming out to clarify the ace of cups then the ace of cups again same card at the bottom so their issue with you is the sun they feel like you could be more optimistic about things like they would like for you to be let's say like nicer <laughs> or give them some sort of clarity about something but i feel like for most it's the first thing like why is it sunny here? Or they could just want clarity and peace when it comes to something involving you. Temperance came out, Sagittarius energy, but it's also about reconciliation. So it could be that they haven't seen you or come together with you. And they're missing whatever energy you brought to their life. I feel like you made this person 
happier or feel more secure, like more safe right at home. With the sun and temperance and the two of cups being there, it's like they don't have, um, they don't have patience. Like they want what they want from you <laughs> when they want it. Hold on, let me see this person's past, present, future actions towards whoever this reading is about. Let me see. The future could be um over the next week or two after you see this reading if it resonates with you. So how this person show up in Cancer's life? Past, present, future. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I feel like this person might move slow, move at their own pace, or that could be you. But either way, in the recent past, I feel like they offered a motion to you, but it was like here and there. It wasn't deep. It was kind of like puppy love, flirtatious type of exchange with them in the past. Nothing too serious or heavy. Right now with the Eight of Wands, I feel like they either could have recently communicated with you or they will very soon with the Eight of Wands about movement, like wanting action and movement in the situation with the Eight of Wands. Um, about them wanting to go somewhere together or come towards you or you come towards them. Why is the Eight of Fire here? So it could be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Or another water sign, another Cancer, or Pisces, or Scorpio. It don't matter the sign, because fire is here, too. I just don't see any air. Either way, they want to um, smooth out some sort of conflict with the Five of Wands. Like, straighten something out, I feel. So, y'all can move forward. The Hierophant being here is about marriage and commitment. So, I feel like this is a person who you could either end up in a serious relationship with or married to. Why is the hierophant here? Yep, Queen of Cups. This person is going to express deep emotion to you and be receptive and want to listen to how you feel in the near future. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom is telling me it's more of a committed energy. Like y'all can see the family, the house, the dog. So I feel like you and this person, regardless of whatever is going on right now, if this is for you, y'all are going to come together, smooth things out, and end up in a committed relationship with each other in the near future. Whether it's going to last forever or not, I don't know. But this is all good cards for the near future. I feel like it's about somebody satisfying your um, emotional needs as well as your physical needs with the pinnacles being there it says the heart of the matter I feel like with the five of wands when I was saying somebody come in to try to smooth out some conflict like get into the heart of the matter so it says the heart of the matter there is more going on than meets the eye okay let me see let me do y'all spirit message now I just got hella confused. I don't know if that's because that's how somebody else is feeling or just me. It is kind of early. So. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't go over the three cups. It's about both people wanting to reconcile and come together and um, either celebrate something. I don't know if y'all celebrate the holidays or New Year's or something. I don't know. It's about them and or you wanting to come together and celebrate. Do something joyous and fun together. So let me do the spirit message. What's the spirit message for... Um, cancer. 
So first they're saying that you need a change of perspective when it comes to something. When it comes to you not being enough or not having enough. Got two fives, which is about conflict. Necessary conflict that leads to change. So, it's telling you um, it's something from the past that's still affecting you in a negative way that you need to shift your perspective about. It's like something that had been in the past. It could be way back in the past. It could definitely not be related to love, or it could be that you kind of look at as like it went wrong because of you not being enough or not doing enough or not having enough but your spirit got advice the five of cups queen of wands like stop looking at the things that didn't work out in the past because you have something that was meant for you in the future but these two cups being behind her back while she's focused on the um knocked over cups it's two full cups behind her back so it could be if it's related to love, which for a lot of people, I guess, is not going to be because I don't know. I just feel like it's not. But for some, if it's related to love, it's telling you like a person could have left you out in the cold. You could be wondering like it could have damaged you or made you feel like something was seriously wrong with you or still affect you in a negative way. But it's saying that didn't work out because it was something It's still something better. You're just not looking in that direction towards what's meant for you you're looking back at something that wasn't meant for you so it's only to change perspectives if you were to do that this would be the outcome the queen of wands so this is a confident leader somebody who's intuitive and doesn't hesitate when it comes to listening to listening to her intuition and spiritual guidance but mostly i feel like it's telling me telling you you'll be happier and more confident on a new path if you stop looking back at something in the past or letting the past affect you which I know it's like that's hard so I feel like I'm going to clarify this five of cups why is five of cups here for cancer so I just opened up to and it stuck out to me the king the knight of wands so it could be related to a a Leo Virgo no ma'am a Leo or Sagittarius or Aries person if not no matter what the sign is related to a person who's in and out of your life that could be a love relationship could be a father mother fake friend something somebody who's in and out of your life and you can't or couldn't understand why somebody would do something or not do something with or for you it's pretty much telling you to leave something or somebody behind because it wasn't for you yeah if it was a love situation you were dealing with the knight while you're the empress so it just means that you male or female were more evolved than this person have like a bigger vision more ambition just on a different level than this person who so you might have felt like you weren't enough, but in reality, they weren't enough, which is why you need a change of, change of perspective, I guess. Yeah, I feel like for some, it's related to a rejection. It could be love-related, family-related, or friends. I don't know why I felt the need to keep saying that. What is the advice when it comes to this? For the cancer, who is for? It says... Well, too many fell out. I'm going to shuffle again. Three fell out and two flipped over. Oh, it says, I love you. So I feel like that's your spirit message. Your spirit guys want to tell you they love you. These are powerful words. So I'm going to read the message for that. Number 20. Whether you are addressing a pet, a friend, or a partner, or yourself, these, ain't that the shit I was, okay. 
These are the most important words you could say. Do not hold these words in. Giving them often and freely will not take your power away. Be ready and willing to say I love you. Recall the last time you expressed love for yourself. Do you love who you are? Do you avoid thinking about how you feel about yourself? Expressions of love are powerful for anyone to receive, including you. Take a moment to acknowledge that to acknowledge what an incredible person you are. Declare I love you. Let that love emanate from you out into the world. The golden hued angel claps her hands over her heart and gazes into the heavens. Oh, they're talking about this picture. She is a reminder that heaven's angels can help by saturating you with unconditional love. The golden color of the angel could denote the sacral chakra. This is the chakra of relationships, feelings, emotions, and identity. Clear and balance your sacral chakra. Okay. So, Cancer, okay, so I hope y'all enjoy. Thanks for watching. Peace.